What happens if you sue your doctor and he ignores your lawsuit? What happens then? You want to know the answer? Come join me for a moment as I share with you some great information. Hi, I'm Jerry Oginski. I'm a New York medical malpractice and personal injury attorney. All right, so let's say you believe your doctor was careless, causing you significant harm and injury. And now you go ahead and get a medical expert to confirm that your doctor violated the basic standards of medical care, causing you significant harm and injury. Great, so now you actually start your lawsuit. Once you start the lawsuit and you file the necessary papers, now you have to take those papers and deliver it to the doctor. Once you go ahead and deliver it, you're waiting weeks and now months for the doctor to answer the allegations in your lawsuit. And guess what? He doesn't. For whatever reason, he chooses not to respond to those allegations. So you're turning around saying, I don't understand. We invited the doctor to participate in this lawsuit. He's ignoring you. What do you do then? I'll tell you what happens. You go into court and you say, hey, judge, we went ahead and brought a lawsuit against this doctor for claims of medical malpractice. And guess what? The doctor refused to participate and to answer the allegations. And because of that, we would like an automatic win. It's called a default. It's like the Yankees going to play the Mets and the Mets simply don't even show up. Guess what? The Yankees win automatically on default. Same exact thing happens in a lawsuit here in New York. You go ahead and bring a lawsuit against a doctor. If he chooses, for whatever reason, not to answer the allegations, which basically says the doctor refused to show up, so, Mr. Patient, you automatically win that issue. Now, what's left? Well, if that issue is already decided about whether or not the doctor was careless and violated the basic standards of medical care, causing you harm, the only real issue in the case now is how much money you are to receive as a result of the doctor's carelessness. So we would then go to a trial just on damages. Now, how crazy would it be to go ahead and try a case and the doctor whom you have sued doesn't even participate? He doesn't even show up. Can we go ahead with a trial just on damages where we only put on our witnesses and there's nobody to cross-examine our witnesses? The answer is yes, that can happen. And when that happens, the judge will give us a decision, a judgment in our favor and come to a conclusion about how much money you, the injured patient, are to receive. You know, I realize you're likely watching this video because you have questions or concerns about your own matter. Well, listen, if your matter did happen here in New York, but you have not yet started a lawsuit and still have questions that need to be answered, what I invite you to do is pick up the phone and call me. You know, I answer questions like yours every single day and I'd love to chat with you. You can reach me at 516-487-8207 or by email at jerry, G-E-R-R-Y, at oginski-law.com. That's it for today's video. I'm Jerry Oginski. Have a fantastic day.